let's talk about the terms related or associated with mirror the first one is incident ray in the diagram if you can see the pink color ray is the incident ray which can be defined as the light of ray that falls on the surface of the mirror or refracting surface is called as incident ray further you can see the point p which is nothing but called as point of incidence it is the point at which the incident ray falls on the mirror or the reflecting surface then in green color you have the reflected ray which can be defined as the ray of light that get reflected from the surface of the mirror or reflecting surface in between you can see a dotted line which is been labeled as normal it can be defined as the imaginary line or perpendicular line that is drawn from the point of incident now this line is perpendicular to the reflecting surface angle of incidence it is the angle formed between the incident ray that is the pink ray and the dotted line okay so it is the angle formed between the incident ray and the normal an angle of reflection is this side the angle between the green ray that is the reflected ray and the normal so it is the angle formed between the reflected ray and the normal let's talk about types of mirrors depending on the surfaces mirrors are of two types plane mirror and spherical mirror we'll first talk about the plane mirror when it's a plane mirror it's a shiny flat reflective surface so plane mirror is shiny and flat reflective surface so when the light from a particular direction falls on a plane mirror at an angle it is reflected back at the same angle in the same direction so here the angle of incidence is equal to an angle of reflection further if you talk about the characteristics of images formed by a plane mirror then it is always the image formed is virtual and erect that is the plane mirror forms a virtual ima image because the reflection does not fall on a surface rather we see our reflection that appears on the mirror so it is behind the mirror somewhere the image reflected through a plane mirror is of same size as that of object so the size of the uh, object and the size of the image formed is same further uh, we have the phenomenon lateral inversion which is one of the characteristics in plane mirror that is when an the image is reflected through a plane mirror it is left right inverted that is in the mirror the left side appears to be the right one and the right side appears to be the left one and this is what is lateral inversion so laterally inverted images are formed on the plane mirror and last but not the least the distance of the image between the mirror is the same as the distance of an object from the mirror let's talk about the second type of mirror that is the spherical mirror so mirrors in which the shining surface is in a curved shape rather than a straight plane are spherical mirrors all mirrors are not straight like plane mirrors even the polished and smooth curved surfaces can act as mirrors such mirrors are called as curved mirrors or spherical mirrors so in short you can say a spherical mirror is that mirror whose smooth and polished reflecting surface is a curved surface now talking about the spherical mirrors they are being classified into two again convex mirror and concave mirror so spherical mirror whose refracting surface is 
curved outward is called convex mirror in this kind of mirror the reflection of light takes place at convex surface of the mirror if you see the blue part you can see that the reflecting surface is outside or say outward so if the reflecting surface is curved outward it is called the convex mirror while if the reflecting surface is curved inward then it is the concave mirror if you see the red part of the sphere you can make it out that the reflecting surface is curved inward so it is a concave mirror further the ray of light that falls on the spherical mirror meets as a at a point called principal focus or focus the rays of light falling on a concave mirror converges and hence this mirror is called converging mirror while the ray of light from a convex mirror diverge into different directions hence it is called as diverging mirror with the help of the example we'll talk about this converging mirrors and diverging mirror here with the simple diagram you come to know that how the mirrors are the part of the sphere so you can go through both the spheres the first sphere if you take that shows you the concave mirror where the reflecting surface is inward or say curved inward while if you see the second mirror it's a convex mirror where the reflecting surface is curved outward so there are terms related to this mirrors so we'll talk about this terms first one is center of curvature center of curvature is defined as the center of sphere of which the spherical mirror is a part pole which is denoted by capital p is nothing but the center of refracting surface of a surface of a spherical mirror third one is the principal axis which is the imaginary line passing through the center of curvature and the pole of the spherical mirror then we have principal focus denoted by f which is the point on principal axis at which parallel rays of light after reflection by a mirror or after reflected by a mirror meets or appears to meet last but not the least is the focal length which is the distance between the pole and the focus that is principal focus of the spherical mirror